Hey guys, Sandy here, and today I am sharing with you the layouts that I made in October 2020. So let's get started. Now this is a spread layout with a 12 by 12 and a pocket page, and it is not finished yet. Um, I need a photo to go here, and then I need to do the other side of the pocket page. Um, but this was made with the Brutus Monroe scrapbooking box, and I created this uh, live on uh, the Brutus Monroe page. So we have that, and I love, love, love the stamp. Okay. This one... Um, is a scrapping reflections page so I am doing an, a business album and this is going to be one of the first pages um, I use some paper house products for this guy and I like the pop of black um, I just think it gives it that little that little mm. okay this layout is from my kill a kit with style these uh, photos are from when we um, went to Santa Cruz and Monterey. Lots of gold bits. Um, this is a Brutus Monroe page. Um, talking about ugly sweater day at work. Um, this was the dye of the month. And then I used the sweater weather paper. I love this dye. I just think it's awesome. Uh, this is also from... Uh, my killer kit. So this is just scrapbooking some memorabilia. So I have those there and then I have more of these that'll just get tucked behind this in the album. Um, here is a scrap lift for Pink Glitter Scrappers five year YouTube anniversary. Um, I used a lot of Fifth and Monaco and then I used the Pinwheels uh, stencil. Uh, here is kind of a kind of a leftovers layout. So this paper and these florals are left over from a kill kit a couple months ago, and then this die cut heart um, was left over because I used um, I used this as a stencil, and then I used that I did that page. So now I use the heart itself, um, and this is a picture of the pirates. Uh, the Pirates Ride in Disneyland. And this uh, Skull Guy, I've had him forever and a day. Um, here is a fun layout. Now this, I actually uh, used the Pika Dot stencil and uh, stenciled ink. And then I used mostly uh, translucent washi tapes so that you would have that in the background. And this is um, Glitter Girl's feet and my feet. We both wore glitter shoes that day in uh, Creativation. This is going to be um, an opening page for Lana's birthday weekend. Um, it is uh, used the Big Castle stencil. And in Disneyland, they have this wall um, where you go to... Uh, to Animation Academy and it says once upon a time and then on the other side it says and they lived happily ever after so I Actually took the photo with the intention of making this the title page and the closing page. So that is that one um, This is dance in the downpour and this was the Brutus Monroe uh, scrapbook uh, Monthly kit for October and I just did a circle with all of these guys right here and then stamped this out on some colored paper and then made a kind of a, I don't even know what to call it, kind of like a vinyl pocket with sequins and a fun shaker filler. Um, this layout right here is a Disney trash can layout, and this um, is all those Paige Evans 2x2 two two squares, and I distress them, and then pop them up on foam, and then use the All-Star stencil again. The All-Star stencil, guys, is one of my favorites. 
um, this layout is uh, the inside of Space Mountain with the lights on. And if you guys have watched my channel or heard me talk about Disney, you'll know that that is one of our favorite experiences to have as a family. Um, we cheer when other people um, are like, oh, but this is a 2017 layout. I used the All-Star stencil again. I told you guys, it's it's like one of my favorite stencils. I'm just a huge fan of stars. So these um, are uh, Star Wars Land photos. And then I just, I inked um, through the uh, star stencil and then did some glitter glaze without doing all of it. So it just gave it highlights. Um, this layout is a layout I created with my love from Lizzie card kit. Um, these are pastries that I got for my 40th birthday. Um, and they are lobster rolls and oh my goodness, they're the best. This is a layout um, that I created for Erica, who is California Lucky on here her 31 days of spooky scraps. Um, and I said, this is about as spooky as it gets in our house. Um, a little pumpkin and a treats bowl. Um, this is a wood veneer and the um, cauldron and the arrows too, actually from uh, my scrapping reflection shop. This, um, this fun uh, paper right here, this is from Tonic. Um, here is a quick and easy layout that I did with my purple kit. Um, it's more about the story. Uh, so we were in line and uh, stormtroopers came up and had great interaction with Lana. And I was just so in the moment and so enjoying it that I missed out on taking a photo. So we took a photo of the armor and then I wrote the story here. Um, here is another uh, purple kit, and this is using a stencil with glitter glaze. Um, this diamond paper is the inside um, from this layout over here that I had cut out um, to have this purple um, paper show through. So this is just the inside of it, and I decided to put it on khaki to really make it pop. Um, this is just showing that a simple, quick, and easy layout can happen. This was for off the board. Everybody uh, had their pins based on wine. Um, mine was on a quote. Um, the quote was, life is what happens between coffee and wine, but I drank uh, iced tea. And this is a crisp pour. <laughs> so here is a paper house... Um, and other things lay out. Um, this is from a paper house cut apart. That's why I, um, I think that might be it. Nope, the yellow is paper house. I think the yellow in this might be the only paper house thing. But anyway, this is a um, travel layout for our Castle Air Museum trip. Um, this is an eight and a half by 11 layout for stretch the sketch. And this time I shrunk it way down. This is um, one of my favorite layouts this month. I have two favorite layouts this month and they both feature the Haunted Mansion. Um, and this is one of them. Um, we so love HM for Haunted Mansion. Um, this is also the stamping for scrapbookers. Um, I used the circles upon circles stencil just to give it a little bit of a ghost of some impressions uh, underneath of it. And then I stamped out some stamps on vellum and fussy cut those out. And then I kind of did RNG um, colors for the roses here and die cut those out. And this is, this is one of my favorite layouts this month. Um, this was for Mixed Media Frenzy. Um, I used the pumpkin stencil, but a lot of this stuff is just from um, my scrapping reflection shop. Pumpkin wood veneer with glitter glaze, the little ghosty, 
Um, he's part of a set of four and I have to, I've got to scrapbook some more Halloween layouts because these ghosties are cute as anything. I mean, look at them. So I need to do, I have more Haunted Mansion pictures, so I was going to stop scrapbooking them, but I love the ghosties, so we're going to keep scrapbooking them. Um, lots, lots of glitter. Makes me happy. Um, this uh, layout uh, right here was for one of the Follow a Sketch Fridays uh, slash Christie's 30 Days of Sketches, and I just, I absolutely love this layout. It was super easy, super simple, not a lot of embellishment, not a lot of anything really to do with it, but the colors and stuff just make me happy. Um, here is an eight and a half by 11 page. Um, this is featuring the Brutus Monroe stamp of the month. Look at that little unicorn in a coffee cup. Um, this time I decided to go very neutral um, and not color or anything like that. And just talking about um, coffee. Uh, here is a Disney trash can layout. My favorite thing on this layout is the ombre uh, inking that I did on these thickers. This was a Kill Kit style layout as well. Look at that glitter glaze through the stencil. And then I just cut it out. Um, this layout is about Christmas jammies and these are from uh, Brutus Monroe and Thermaweb. So I just love all the sparkle and shine with that. And this, this die cut is just gorgeous. Love it. Um, this is, um, needs a little bit more glue, doesn't it? Um, this layout is a follow a sketch Friday and it's, uh, the fast passes from Disneyland and then, uh, some glitter stock and then, uh, glitter glaze through the, wow, I really didn't adhere that down well at all, did I? Um, glitter glaze through the, uh, cloudy day stencil. So lots of sparkle and shine on that one. Um, here is my December 2018, uh, pocket page, uh, that I finished up. Um, I still haven't decided if I'm going to put, uh, sequins in here or not. I haven't, I haven't made that decision, um, but there it is. I love the color scheme on this one. I'm a fan. Um, this is my second uh, favorite layout of the month. And see, it's a Haunted Mansion layout. Um, this was uh, using Brutus Monroe products. And I can't tell you how much I absolutely love this layout. It is, it is definitely a favorite for sure. And then I have uh, this uh, layout that was my kill a kit with style as well. I used the up, up, and away stencil with some nouveau mousse um, for these airplanes, and it's just showing the amount of leg room I had in the exit row. Um, these were washi stickers that came on a big sheet, and I just cut them in half and popped them down to create this border. And they're not all exactly uh, in the same place, I did vary them ever so slightly, not because I wanted it to be super wonky, but I wanted it to look kind of natural and kind of organic. So that is that. So we have one, two, three, four. Yes, I count this as two because it's a front and a back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, I was in a bit of a khaki phase this month, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So definitely a slower month for layouts, but what I did create, I love. So thanks so much for joining me guys. Um, I will see you again real soon for another video.